I've tried just about every writing side hustle under the sun. So I wanted to make this video breaking down the best ways to make money as a writer. I chose these methods because they require no special skills or upfront investment, and you can shape them to fit your schedule, regardless of school, your job, or any other commitments you may have. Let's get into it. I made a very similar video to this one at the beginning of the year, but at the time I had only tried about half of the methods. So I'm making this video after trying every method on this list and consistently earning between $500 and $1,000 per month with each one. I'll begin with the easiest methods to get started and slowly scale to the most difficult, starting with the first platform I really committed to. If you've never heard of Medium before, it's kind of like YouTube for writers. You write, post your content, and get paid based on the read time of paying Medium members. If you're ineligible to join Medium's partner program or just don't want to pay the $5 monthly fee, you can sign up for free and treat it like a conventional blog, promoting affiliate links or writing sponsored content. I've made tons of videos about Medium in the past, so I won't go into detail here. But if you can find the time to write one quality article per week, as well as engage with other writers on the platform, you can expect to earn anywhere from $100 to $1,000 per month in your spare time. To get started writing on Medium, I recommend watching this video or subscribe to my newsletter for more in-depth guides. Newsletters are one of the most profitable ways to make money online. But if you're just getting started, they can feel overwhelming, not to mention needing another platform to actually build an audience, which is why I love Substack as it solves these two problems. Substack is quickly becoming one of, if not the, best place for writers to grow an audience. It's free to sign up and offers its creators a diverse set of tools to reach interested readers. And with its newly designated notes feed, Substack has become an amalgamation of Twitter, LinkedIn, Medium, and Patreon, in addition to being a powerful community builder. The downside of Substack for beginners is that if you don't have anything to sell, the only way to earn money is by converting paid subscribers. So if you don't already have an audience and you need money in your pocket today, Substack is likely not a great option for you. But if you're wanting to take a long-term approach to starting an online business, it has everything you need. To get started on Substack, I recommend watching this video, which outlines my first six months on the platform. And to see videos just like it pop up on your feed, hit the subscribe button. Twitter is a place I admittedly stopped writing on because Substack notes are just much more of a positive place, but Twitter is still one of the giants of the writing industry, and its new creator program makes it easier than ever to monetize your words. Now, back when I was writing on Twitter, I made money the old fashioned way by selling digital products. So I don't have any firsthand knowledge of how much you can earn directly from the creator program, but I'll add some resources for you in the description of this video. If you enjoy short form writing or would like to pursue a career as a copywriter, Twitter is probably the best platform for you. In addition to this next platform, LinkedIn is another great place to write short form content especially if you like posting personal stories. LinkedIn's algorithm loves personal stories and it's one of the easiest platforms to go viral on. LinkedIn has no public creator program, so it's best suited as a secondary platform to promote products, services, or other social profiles. It has a huge user base, so if you do client work, it's the platform to be on. And it's a little known goldmine for sponsorship deals, something I'll touch on a little later in this video. This next one marks the halfway point on this list and where I'll start widening the lens into more creative approaches. News articles are traffic gold mines because, well, they're in the news and people are actively searching for updates on very specific topics. Late last year, I decided to capitalize on this by using AI to write news articles on a platform called Newsbreak. I found a lot of initial success, but got sidetracked by other writing projects and haven't posted there for quite a while. So at this point, it's hard for me to say if Newsbreak is still a viable option to make money. But writing news articles definitely still is. With so much going on in the world, people are constantly searching for answers. And if you can provide them, you can guarantee yourself views, which always equals more money. I'll be retesting this method on Newsbreak as well as a few other platforms in the near future. So subscribe to see these updates when they come out. Now, the golden age of WordPress blogs may have come and gone but hosting your own blog still has a lot of value. If you don't wanna to pay to host a blog, you can use free platforms like Medium, Substack, or blogger.com. Or you can even make standalone one-page websites with tools like 
Notion, Card, or Canva. All of this essentially just puts your writing out into the internet. How you promote it is completely up to you. You can use Pinterest, Facebook, Google Ads, or use SEO to rank on Google organically. Creating a blog is an entire niche on its own, so I won't go into detail here, but just know that starting your own blog is still a viable option today. It just takes a little more upfront work and has a steeper learning curve than some of the other methods on this list. Now, this is a method I don't promote very much on this channel because, well, I don't personally like it. I worked with clients as a ghostwriter for the first two years of writing online. And what that experience taught me the most is that I much prefer to write my own words and figure out ways to monetize them myself. It's why I lean towards revenue sharing platforms like Medium or Substack, where I can just write and get paid for it. But I understand not everyone shares my burning desire for control. So if you're open to working with clients, freelancing is a great way to earn a guaranteed income. Personally, I earned my first dollar on Fiverr.com and have also written on Upwork and Freelancer. All of these are still great options. And if you're not confident about your writing skills quite yet, you can always offer AI writing to get the hang of working with clients. If you use this in tandem with any of the other platforms I've mentioned on this list, you can really start to maximize your earnings through sponsored posts and UGC content. In the past few months, I've made more money writing than ever before, even though I haven't had an article go viral in quite some time. The reason for this is I've been writing sponsored posts for brands Brands. Now, I will admit that I didn't start receiving consistent offers until I passed the 10,000 follower mark on Medium. But I started working with clients as early on in my journey as having 1,500 followers. So it's possible. If you post content anywhere online, it's never too early to start offering UGC or sponsored content on your profile. Sponsored content is incredibly valuable to brands as readers are much more likely to buy something from someone they trust. Obviously, this is something you have to take into to account when deciding who and what to promote. But if you like the product or service, offering real estate on your writing is a great way to double, triple, even quadruple up on your earnings. If you don't have brands reaching out to you, you can leverage freelance websites like Fiverr, Upwork, or Freelancer to promote sponsored or UGC content. And if this idea is completely foreign to you, I've written an in-depth guide, which I'll add to the description of this video. If you're not quite ready to work with sponsors, affiliate marketing is another way to add additional layers of income to the content you're posting online. You can find affiliate products in any niche with a quick Google search, and then think of ways to promote it in your writing. Again, just make sure it's a product or service you can personally vouch for as you never want to promote well, crap to your audience. And finally, YouTube. Yes, YouTube for writing. If you listen to the advice of any top YouTuber, they will all tell you that one of the most important aspects of being successful on YouTube is your video script. Even if you don't have fancy editing, equipment, or a charismatic personality, a well-written script will take you far on YouTube. And if you don't want to appear on camera, you can use AI tools to create thumbnails, video graphics, and even do voiceovers. One of my goals for 2025 is to experiment with faceless YouTube channels. So I'll have more updates on how you can leverage YouTube as a writer in the future. If you haven't already, hit subscribe to see those updates when they come out. I hope this video gave you some great ideas of how to make money as a writer. I know this was a long list and it might feel overwhelming, so my best advice would be to pick one or two of the methods that stuck out to you and just get started. The only real way to find success at anything is to try, fail, learn, ask questions, and try again. So if you have any questions, ask them in the comments below. I do my best to respond to every comment every week. And if you're part of my writing community, feel free to DM me for support. That's it for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.